Hello, welcome to my channel. I am a rising senior at Northwestern University. I'm studying math, and even though I never considered majoring in actuarial science because Northwestern doesn't have an actuarial science major, I have a lot of friends who are studying actuarial science at different schools, and so we came up with this list of pros and cons. There are twice as many pros than cons, and maybe we're biased, but that is okay. I'm going to start with the pros first. One, if you major in actuarial science, you will be set up very well for a career in insurance. Employers will also look upon actuarial science majors very favorably because you will graduate having already passed many of the exams and employers will like this because they won't have to pay for the exams themselves. All actuarial exams require a fee to take just like SAT tests and other standardized tests and generally employers will pay their actuaries to take these exams. So if you've already passed all of your exams, that is is good for employers. Pro number two, if you have an actuarial science program at your school, then you will have a lot of resources available to you to pass exams. You will have professors who are specifically trained in this. Unlike at Northwestern, there's no one to help you out if you want to pass the exams. You have to study completely on your own. So if you major in this, then you will have plenty of resources. For example, you won't have to pay for any study manuals or study materials or practice tests because those will probably be handed to you in your classes. Pro 3, you will have a very good professional network and professional resources in general. When I was a freshman in college and I went to my college counselor and asked her for help to get an actuarial internship, she did not know what that was. And so I was pretty much on my own, but if you go to a school with an actuarial science program, all of the counselors will know what actuarial science is. They will be able to help you out and connect you with alumni who studied actuarial science. Four, you will probably get some coding experience, which is very helpful if you want to be an actuary. Pro five, the stereotypes that come with being an actuarial science major. Actuarial science has a reputation for being very difficult and often people will assume that you are smart. Pro six, actuarial science is very interesting. You get to do calculus, probability, statistics, and you learn about different areas within finance. Okay, now on to the cons. One, if you only study actuarial science and you don't have another major or minor, then you will likely graduate lacking communication skills and writing skills. These are very important professional skills regardless of the industry that you go into. And that is something that I think a lot of STEM majors struggle with, including myself. I'm studying math and I know I need to work on speaking and writing and communication in general. Con number two. Actuarial science is a very narrow major that is intended to prepare students for an actuarial role at an insurance company. You don't have a ton of options after graduation if you decide that you don't like actuarial science. This can be a problem, especially because the exams are not very similar to the work that you do as an actuary. There is definitely some overlap, but it's a very different type of work. So if you like studying and if you like the exams, you might not like the day-to-day -day work of an actuary. Con number three, this is the last con. More will be expected of you at work if you studied actuarial science. They will assume that you already have some basic industry knowledge and that you've passed more exams than other new hires who studied math or something else technical. There's probably more pressure. So these were all the pros and cons of studying actuarial science in college. If this video was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be making many more videos related to college and specific majors. I am planning on interviewing some of my fellow classmates about their majors and why they chose what they were studying. So if you are curious about that, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. I am also planning to make some other random stupid videos because sometimes I don't feel like talking about school or work. So there you have it. I will see you soon. Bye.